But now to the adult film star who claimed she had an affair with the president. In the wake of her 60 Minutes interview, the legal documents are flying, and now even the lawyers have lawyers. Stormy Daniels says this happened more than 10 years ago when Donald Trump was not president. The documents include a cease and desist order from the president's lawyer to Stormy Daniels and a defamation suit by Daniels against the lawyer. Our justice reporter, Paula Reed, takes us through it. The president strongly, clearly, and uh, has consistently denied these underlying uh, claims. And the Today, the White House pushed back on adult film star Stormy Daniels' claim on 60 Minutes that she had an affair with the president. This morning, the president tweeted a general reference to fake news, but did not mention Daniels by name. He's like, wow, you, you are special. You remind me of my daughter. Daniels was introduced you know. to Mr. Trump at a celebrity golf tournament in Lake Tahoe in July 2006. She says Mr. Trump later invited her to dinner in a Los Angeles hotel suite. She claims they had sex even though she wasn't attracted to him. Did you want to have sex with him? No, but I didn't, I didn't say no. I'm not a victim. I'm not. It was yeah. entirely consensual. Oh, yes. Daniel says five years after the encounter, she was threatened, threatened by a man, a man in a Las Vegas, Vegas parking Las Vegas. lot. I was in a parking lot going to a fitness class with my infant daughter and a guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, a, a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. And then he was gone. You took it as a direct threat? Absolutely. Daniel says her subsequent fear convinced her to accept a $130,000 payout for her silence from President Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, just 11 days before the 2016 presidential election. Last night, a lawyer for Cohen sent Daniels a cease and desist order denying his client sent a thug to threaten Daniels. Cohen also claims Daniel faces millions in damages for breaching their non-disclosure agreement. But Daniel's lawyer, Gail Michael Warren, Avenatti, says the agreement Michael isn't valid, in part because it was never signed by Mr. Trump. Today, he filed new court papers accusing Cohen of defaming Daniels. This is a man who has a history of thuggish behavior, using intimidation tactics and trying to step on little people. The timing of Daniel's hush payment could expose Cohen and the Trump campaign to possible legal jeopardy. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. Why would they do this agreement at that time? The obvious answer is to affect the election results. That could trigger a civil or criminal prosecution by the Federal Election Commission. But Cohen's lawyer, David Schwartz, says his client did nothing wrong. Uh, Mr. Cohen paid the $130,000, but the reason is to protect business, protect reputation, and to protect family. And you cannot speculate that it was to elect somebody president of the United States. And Paula rejoins us from the White House tonight. Paula, what do we know about the First Lady's reaction to the interview? Well, so far, the First Lady has not responded to the interview, but shortly after it aired, her spokeswoman tweeted a reminder that the Trump son is still a minor and should be left out of news stories. The First Lady is expected to spend the week at Mar-a-Lago for her son's spring break. All right, Paula Reed at the White House. Paula, thanks.